Historius in lane four gets a good start. He's going round the band and he is ahead. I can tell you that Fori of South Africa is going well also. And the Brazilian has a lot to do. It's Fori, his closest contender. But here comes Pistorius. And look at the speed. The Brazilian's coming back at him. He's coming back and closing. Is he going to be beaten? Pistorius is beaten on the line. Alan Oliveira of Brazil has won this one in 21.45 seconds. A huge, huge upset. We just wondered whether Pistorius was going to be vulnerable from lane four. A tight draw. He could see the Brazilian outside him, but the Brazilian timed his run wonderfully. He had a lot to do in those closing stages, but he fared streaked over the last 60 metres. And the huge upset here. Oscar Pistorius, a wry smile and a shake of the head. Well, it happens. It happens. And that's what his mother said. The person who doesn't even try to compete is the loser. And look at Alan Oliveira just streaking around that bend, coming down the straight. And Annie Kreitz, that was just a wonderful run from this youngster. The, st the, the stadium was almost in shock as Oliveira came past Pistorius with about 30 metres to go. This is Pistorius is the main, the last 30 metres. Nobody gets anywhere near him in the closing stages of a race. Oliveira had the cheek to use Oscar's own tactics and to come through from behind and take him just before the line. Pistorius got out really well in the race and looked really comfortable till about 50, 60 metres to go. And for the first time ever, you can see Oscar under pressure and straining. He's well, a beaten man. Oliveira is the Paralympic champion. And we see a new star. There is Oscar Pistorius, and for once, defeated in this 200 metres. And I think we can, uh, in a moment, hear from Oscar Pistorius, who is with Sonia now. Well, Oscar, there was a, a wry smile and very sporting of you. You went and shook hands with the young Brazilian there, but I can only guess at your emotions right now. You're a, you're a real fighter. You would not want to have given up that title. No, I think, uh, you know, this is a very strong race of mine. As I said yesterday in the mix zone, the IPC don't want to listen. You know, the guy's legs are unbelievably long. Uh, and they haven't, I mean, not taking away from Alan's performance, he's a great athlete, but... Uh, you know, the guys, when we do the measuring in the core rooms, a year ago, these guys were over here. They're a lot taller, and you can't compete stride length. You saw how far he came back, so... Yeah, it's, we're not racing a fair race here, but um, I gave my best at a great night. I don't want to kind of, you know... This is a very difficult thing to, to, to touch on when in, in the heat of battle, but are you suggesting that his blades are not as fair as your well, blades? No, I, I mean, the IPC have their regulations, but... Uh, the regulations make that uh, the athletes can make themselves unbelievably high. We've tried to address the issue with them uh, in the weeks upcoming to this, and uh, it's just been fallen on deaf ears. So you saw Blake Leaper yesterday. I mean, the guy came down literally overnight, made his blades longer. He's, uh, his knee height's like four inches higher than what it should be, and the guys are just running ridiculous times, and they're able to do so. I mean, I think Alan's a great uh, uh, athlete, but... You can't come back. I run 10 meters per second, just over 10 meters per second. I don't know how you can come back or watching the replay from uh, eight meters behind on the 100 to win. It's absolutely ridiculous. Well, there we go. <laughs> I think Oscar Pistorius has made, a, made it clear, John, where he thinks uh, the IPC need to be looking at those blades right now. Well, contra controversial words indeed from uh, Oscar Pistorius. And Danny, what did you make of what you heard there? What did you make of what Oscar was saying? There's the result. Oscar Pistorius beaten by Alan Oliveira, but real controversial words from Pistorius and not happy at the manner of his defeat. I think sometimes in the heat of battle, once you've come off the track, you sometimes let your emotions run wild. I mean, he's talking about Oliveira coming through very, very strong and, and taking out eight metres in the closing stages. But you have to remember, this is what Oscar has done all of his career. He's taken out eight metres out of everybody else. A controversial statement. I'm sure Oscar will be very quick to take that back again, though. He's talking about the length of his blades. Well, there is, there is a length limit on the blades. They, there is a calculation that works out what your height would be, and you're only allowed to be within a certain percentage of that. Of course, 
and we had the discussion with Richard Whitehead when we said he could actually have longer blades, but he chooses not to because he's running well on his. But basically what Oscar's saying is these guys, and it has come up in the past because you can extend the blades beyond the limits, which is illegal, which gives them the longer stride length. But unfortunately, now is not the time to have this conversation. Well, there will be huge celebration back home in Brazil, I'm sure. And the fact of the matter is that we have an unexpected champion, Alan Oliveira of Brazil. Welcome back, and we have just witnessed the shock of these Paralympic Games in London 2012. Oscar Pistorius beaten, a stunning finish by Alan Oliveira of Brazil, and huge controversy straight afterwards, as Oscar Pistorius says in his post-race interview, those blades were too long on Oliveira. Really objects to the fact that they are four inches higher, he says, than they should be, and he has issues with the IPC regulations. And we're getting loads and loads of messages on Twitter. We've got one from Adam Crooks, and he says, oh, my Pistorius beaten that's like bolt getting beaten he's saying it's as big as bolt losing in the olympics you it's a shock and we talk about bolt why bolt is so good is his cadence his leg turnover is so fast and he's got the long legs bolt mm. is so much taller than your average sprinter so when he gets up to speed because he's got the long stride length he's covering a lot of ground and i think that's what oscar's trying to say he said that his blades should be a certain height and what he's saying is Oliveira's knee is four inches higher than it should be, and they, they estimate how tall he would be if he had legs. Mm. And what, obviously, Oscar is trying to say, it's not fair. His blades are too long, which means once he gets up to speed, he's covering so much more ground than Oscar. And Oscar actually touched on it there. He said, look, I'm covering 10 metres per second. He was eight or nine metres behind me with 100 to go, and he reeled me in. So that's... That, it, <laughs> It's really hard. I mean, I don't know what the legal heights are, but they must have to look into that. I've never seen Oscar be like that, and he's not a bad loser. You know, he's not the kind of guy I don't believe to yes. do that. I don't think he's switched overnight. I think he generally is, like, a little bit upset that the fact that perhaps but, the rules have been bent a little but, bit. But, but, but surely he would have known about this beforehand, because this isn't something that just happened at this, in this race. Oscar could have complained about it earlier. But he said he did. He said in his interview, we've already picked this up after the heats. We've told the IPC, have you measured his blades? So maybe they haven't, maybe they will now. Maybe it's fair and square, and Oscar's just well, been let's, by well, a better let's find athlete. out if there is the equivalent of a steward's inquiry and indeed clarify the rules themselves. We'll hand you back to the commentary team. John Rawling was commentating on that race. First of all, John, how much of a shock was that? And what did you make of Oscar's post-race interview? Well, it, it was a shock, but having said that, Oliveira had won wonderfully well in the semi-finals. And in a sense, what he did to Pistorius is what Pistorius has been doing to so many athletes over the last seven or eight years. He's absolutely dominated the sport. And sooner or later, a terrific young talent was going to come through. And I think this fella is the man. Now, Oscar's, I don't know the validity of what Oscar is saying, and there's no way of me knowing. But that young fella, at the age of 20, let's not take it away from what he's achieved. Oscar might be critical of him, but in the heat of the moment, you know, as Danny said, emotions can run high. What we've seen there, whatever happens with those blades, is an outstanding athletics performance from a young kid. And do you think Oscar would go on and appeal this? Would he um, try and go to the IPC or, or what? Well, I'm not sure about that. I mean, we've had no message from that. Maybe Danny would have a better idea about whether Oscar would be likely to do that. It sounded from his words as though he's certainly angry, didn't he, Danny? Well, I think, um, obviously, Oscar will go away and they will look at footage. The South African team will look at the footage and they will make an assessment whether they really believe this statement to be true. But I just hope it doesn't take it away from Oliveira. Yes. And I think we think we have to remember is Oscar was tightening up in the last 20 metres yeah. of that race and he was fading. He was under a lot of pressure. Oliveira put him under pressure. Believe me, the Paralympics still kind of reeling after the 200 metres T44 and a mixture of reaction on Twitter. Some people saying, right, Oscar Pistorius is just a bad loser, should never have said it. Some people saying that Oliveira's blades did look particularly high, maybe he's got a point. Others saying he just chose the wrong time to say it. If he's got an issue with the blades, he should have waited, put in an objection, just said well done to Oliveira and waited and put in the objection and, later. And, and his time is actually slower than the time that Oscar set in the, um, in the heat. Yep. So, you know, he could have run faster. He, he tied up, it looked like he tied. Up. It looked like that, and it, what you wonder whether Oscar mentally as well has seen Oliveira come out and almost started to think, oh, he's going to beat me, he's going to beat me. Anyway, uh, well, we heard from Oscar Pistorius almost immediately, and as you know, he was pretty angry and was making comments about the length of Alan Oliveira's blades. Oliveira obviously did a lap of honour. After he finished that, he came to talk to Sonia McLaughlin. Can we just ask, Alan, first and foremost, Oscar Pistorius is a little bit unhappy about your blades. Could you give us an idea as, are they the right length, do you believe? 
Então, os carpistórios estão um pouco infeliz com a altura das suas lâminas. Você pode dar alguma resposta sobre se você acha que a altura está correta? A altura está correta porque eu passei pelos árbitros, e isso que está importando. Eu tenho passado na fiscalização dos árbitros, a partir que eu entro na pista está valendo tudo. Então, acho que o Pistórios deve saber disso, e não é ele quem vai julgar a altura da minha prótese. Um, the, the length of my blades are all right because I went through all the procedures with the referees and once I come inside the track it's because it's all been cleared up and I believe Pistorius also know that. Could you just clear up one thing? Did Alan change the length of his blades between the semi-finals and the final? A das suas lâminas entre as semifinais e a final? Não. Eu vim, eu tô um mês com ela em Manchester pode falar isso. Em Manchester eu, eu, eu coloquei ela a primeira vez e estava dentro das regras do IPC. Não, since the first time I've put them on, they've been uh, forwarding the rules, the IPC rules, and I've been using them already for a whole month, just the same blades, according to the IPC rules. Okay. Can I just say how proud are you right now to be an Olympic Paralympic champion? Você está em seu campeão paralímpico. Muito feliz. Hoje eu estou escrevendo a minha história no movimento paralímpico, Alain Fonteles para o mundo. I am very happy. This day I am writing my story on the Paralympic world, Alain Fonteles, Paralympic champion. Okay. Many congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I think it's really important here, you and that we we look at Alan Oliveira because he's getting overshadowed in all of this. It seems to be all well. It is all about Oscar Pistorius, and uh, you can feel sorry for him, can't you? He's come out and he's run his best time and he's won the gold medal. That doesn't lie. The stop the stopwatch doesn't lie. Oscar's not complaining that he lost. I don't believe. I mean, this guy hasn't come out and all of a sudden changed his blades and run 20.8. He's run fair and square, 21.45. Oscar's point is about the IPC regulations. Now, the IPC have said that um, everything that Oliveira did was within the test. Um, but Pistorius's comment was: the International Paralympic Committee have the regulations, but the regulations allow the athletes to make themselves unbelievably high. We tried to address the issue in the weeks leading up to this, but it fell on deaf ears. But you're right, Oliveira has put in all the training. You don't just turn up and win that by accident. Yeah. He's However long your blades are. He's done nothing wrong. He said, he's been, I've been running the same blades for the last month. So he's trained hard. He's come out and won the gold medal. Obviously, the rules are the rules, and he's running within the rules. He finishes really fast there. And, and you know, Oscar's got to say the rules are the rules. It's not his fault. They need but, to maybe change the rules. That's well, what Oscar's trying to say. But where do you draw the line? He's not doing anything illegal. The Brazilians come out, and he's won the gold medal. The, the, the problem is, that I find, though, is why has Oscar waited till now to complain about the rules? Because they've been around... Um, for as long as we know. You know, why didn't he complain about them ages ago, you know? Maybe he has done, I don't know, behind the scenes, maybe he's already put in a request that you look into the lengths of the blades, but these kind of processes take time. I don't think they're going to suddenly t tear up the rule book just because Oscar said something. You know, <laughs> although he's the king of the sport, rules are there and it probably takes a long process to get things looked at and get them changed. But Oscar may change what, what he said overnight, I don't know. I mean, nobody likes to lose. As I said, I'm quite shocked the way that Oscar had a bit of an outburst because it, it, it's not in his character. So obviously he feels very strong that the rules need to be addressed. But as we sit here tonight, the rules are as they are and the guy's done nothing wrong. It's going to make the 100 metres even more interesting and, and the, the 400, because Oliveira's yeah. in that as well. And yeah, when did you... You first went to Paralympic Games in 1990... No, 2000. In 2000. Yeah. I first went to Paralympic Games in 2000. Yeah. I've never known yeah. a fuss like this. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. off the scale. Yeah. And the one thing you can absolutely say is the Paralympics has come of age. <laughs> this is front-page news. This is huge. Yeah. This is huge, and rightly so. If there was a, an equivalent story in the Olympics, we'd all be talking about it. And I think mm -hmm. it's about time that the Paralympians get, get the headlines and the credit they deserve. It's, it's headlines that we're all talking about. It's trending on Twitter. This is how the world has changed. The Paralympians have become, in their own right, stars. And it's right. Just one last comment on that, Ewan, because you've got a very interesting yes. statistic. Well, it was quite interesting. Oscar came out and said there's something wrong with the length of the blades, and we, we alluded to the fact his stride length would be longer. Someone's tweeted me, said, Pistorius took 46 strides, Oliveira took 49 strides. The stride length isn't the argument, so oh, very we'll roll on and on. which to end. We'll be back tomorrow night. Adam Hill's coming. Thanks. That's properly amazing, isn't it? He's complaining yep. that a guy who has no legs below, above the knee, yep. his legs are too long. Yes. I don't think you can complain about that. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the leg isn't there. <laughs> What's he going on about? It's crazy. He's, there is a ruling that a certain your, your leg can only be a certain percentage of your core, your body's core. Sure. And he's saying that 
overnight, that guy actually lengthened the leg, the, the, uh, his legs. Um, the IPC, by the way, have said that they've approved this and this is absolutely fine, but Oscar is saying, no, it shouldn't be fine. You shouldn't be able to just make your legs longer and therefore make yourself faster. I think they should do, like, Alton Towers and there should just be a thing saying your leg must be this high. <laughs> <laughs> it goes over that, you're not going on the track. Well, I can understand there's got to be reason to it. You can't just have a stilt walker doing two steps. <laughs> 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 that would be crazy, but it's got to be in proportion. And, and if they say it's okay, because he didn't complain the day before. No, he did. I think he said something about. I said this in the media centre yesterday. So it, this has been. But he ran way. faster though, yeah, didn't but, he? So he still complained, even though he just broken a world record. I don't. Ro Oscar. Yeah. Yeah, I think he knew and something was in the wind. So if he'd have won that quick to that quick if, day, yeah, he'd be he, all right. If he'd have run in the time that he ran yesterday, today he would have won gold. He could have just run a little bit faster. That's my advice to him. <laughs> I don't want to state the obvious. I realise he may not want to hear that right now, but if he'd run faster, he would have won that. Or... So, if you want sporting analysis, come here. <laughs> <laughs> he could have just turned up with... If he knew this was going to happen, just turned up with even longer legs than the Brazilian guy. Surely you could have acted up. I think he was making a point. I wonder if Oscar was actually out to make a point there today. Listen, I'm sure we're going to hear more about that over the next few days. Now, there's been a bit of a debate going on on the website this morning. We launched a poll as to whether or not Oscar Pistorius' comments after his defeat in the T44 200 metres last night were justified. He's long campaigned for the fairness of Blades, and we asked you whether or not, after his comments last night, it is fair that he competes in the Olympics. So let's have a look and see what you had to say for yourselves. This is what the poll came out with. 83% of you thought that his blades should be allowed in the Olympics and 12% of you thought that they shouldn't. He's fought a very long and hard campaign, mm -hmm. even through the sport of arbitration for sport, uh, to get himself to the Olympics. But now, if he's arguing that blades are making someone else have an unfair advantage, does he also have the right uh, to be in the Olympics? That's what we're asking. Uh, overwhelming at the moment in his favour. What about what you guys are saying on Twitter? Well, uh, Wayne says, I can't see how an artificial aid cannot be seen to give any advantage, however slight, in terms of spring. And uh, Jeff Adams, who is our man, uh, says, yes to blades but with clear and scientifically proven parameters uh, i.e. Uh, the IPC need to make sure that all of the, the rules and regulations uh, mean that there can be no variations. It's important to say there are parameters in place but I think what Jeff means there is that we need a little bit more clarity. The IPC needs a little bit more clarity uh, on this subject. Okay, at C4 Paralympics is us on Twitter. Uh, the website is channel4.com forward slash Paralympics.